Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video, and today we got the second episode of the No Money Spent series. Now, I'm recording this segment directly after I just uploaded the first No Money Spent video, so if you've not seen that video, it was uploaded on the 4th of October. Uh, make sure to go check that video out if you haven't seen it already, but today I finished another section of the Rivals Challenges, so we're going to be going ahead and getting into this. I'm also going to be completing my Rivals Challenges in this video, and we're going to be building the team up more using some of the coins we have and completing some more challenges. I don't plan on doing any gameplays as we get to get a player pack right here. I don't plan on doing any gameplays for at least another episode or two just because I don't feel like the team is good enough for any gameplay yet, but I plan on getting a bunch of challenges done for you guys so I can go ahead and build up the team and and get some gameplays in online as we get a rookie card right here a low high Gilman, I think is how that's pronounced. We'll go ahead and toss him in the exchange sets. And in the next get a player pack, we get a Joe Ostman, a low overall silver. We'll go ahead and toss that in the exchange set real quick. We'll continue to go through these. We are up to level 12 now, so that's pretty nice. We get our rivals progression one, we get 25k, I guess, which is a little bit not 25k, 25 coins. Uh, Interesting. It's a 25 coin quick sell. I don't think I've ever seen that, honestly. As we get up to level 10 and we unlock our first ever power up pass, maybe we will use that later in this video if I decide to. But we're going to continue to take these rewards at 40 stars. We go ahead and unlock the 70 to 74 token and we continue to just level up. We get to what looks like level 11 where we get our store offer, our first store offer. So um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to load up some points on the account. We're going to open that on this video as we get a Lafayette Pitts. Interesting. Uh, looks like we will begin another 66 to 69 overall silver player. So we'll go ahead and see what we get out of here. Can we get a power up like a Darren Waller? No, we get a normal silver player. Cantavius Street. Interesting name. Very, very interesting name. Keep throwing these cards into the exchange chats. I believe that might be a 70 to 74 right there. Yep. All right. We're just continue to take these exchange packs if we get them. And, uh, um, yeah, I'm just going to take it. We got a John Alapio. Uh, not too bad. We got to get a player. Can we get a gold? Nope. We get a silver right here. We get to Natrell Jamerson um, Panthers. So, not too bad right there. But continuing to go through these rewards, we'll see what else we get. We will be up to level 12. So, what do we get at level 12? We get a get a gold player. What do we get out of here? We get an elite. We get a superstar. We get an elite. 7600 ramp for that's not too bad. And then we get 875 coins and we upgrade to, I'm assuming, level 4 in the yard. That doesn't matter. I'm not going to be playing the yard on this account, so I don't really care. But yeah, as you guys can see, um, we finished the quarter finals challengers. I plan on getting both of these done uh, within this episode. So yeah, that was the uh, rewards for quarter finals challengers. Now let's go ahead and get into semifinals and the championship. Actually, before we get into the next segment of the, of the video, we're going to go ahead and do the exchange set for the 70 to 74 player token. And we're also going to sell this John Alapio and Hunter Renfro. So John Alapio is going for about 1,600 coins. Not too bad. Those two golds from the other video have still not sold. So we're just going to go ahead and sell this card right here for 1,600 coins. Hopefully he sells. And if not, we'll just go ahead and add, a, add him into an exchange set. And then we got this Hunter Renfro, who is going to sell for about 2500 it looks like, so not too bad. Some decent coins right there. So now that though both of those cards are posted, we're going to go to the sets. We're going to go ahead and throw in our 70 to 74 token, and we'll see what kind of players we can pull out of here. Um, see if maybe we can pull anything good. 70-74 uh, overall Nat Gold player. What do we get? Can we get a core rookie? That's not too bad. We get a Justin Jefferson. That can't be too bad. What is the speed looking like? 84 speed. I will definitely take it. He's definitely going to be our wide receiver number two on the team. That's some pretty decent speed. He's not as well, so he fits in fine as our receiver as we get our next tokens as well. Looking pretty dang good. Uh, we got two more to go. And then we're going to go ahead and earn ourselves our Rivals Master and a Rivals Completion token. Really excited about getting that Rivals Master. Uh, he's going to be very, very useful on the team. I feel like it's pretty obvious who I'm going to pick. I made a video at the beginning of the year going over the best player to go ahead and take with your free Rivals player. So make sure you check that video out if you haven't already. Like I said, it was posted about a month ago. But we're going to go ahead and, and throw Justin Jefferson in to the lineup. He is looking not too bad. 84 speed on the team is not bad at all, but this is what the team is looking like so far. Not too great. Not too great at all. We're just kind of filling in slots as we unlock cards to put in there, but um, coins are honestly, actually, I guess we have to activate Lamar Jackson, but um, 
coins are honestly stacking up. We're already at 41k, which is pretty nice. Uh, is it gonna let me do it? There we go. Yeah, 41k already in coins. Um, we're looking pretty good. We have a decent, decent pool of cards that are not too bad, and um, we're at level 12 already. We are nearly done with the rivals challenges. We're over halfway done so that's really nice and i'm super excited where where this team is going so far but let's continue with these challenges and let's actually get to these semi-finals contenders all right guys we just finished the semi-final contenders we're looking pretty good man we are almost done with these rivals challenges and that maybe took me about half an hour so we're making really good time i plan on oh excuse me i plan on getting this done in the next hour for sure so we're gonna be picking up an 85 overall as we get our nat 70 overall fantasy pack i'm assuming we pick a team here uh no it's just 70 overall players um honestly these players actually might help us so um i kind of want to go with an o lineman is probably who i'm gonna go with because i don't want a quarterback I don't really need a running back. We're going to go with Stefan Wisniewski, and he's going to be our brand new left guard. A 70 overall left guard, best in the game for sure. But he'll be holding up at left guard for a while. He's not, so we might as well just keep him. We're up to 72K, which is crazy. We're level 14, which we're looking really good, man. We got the Rivals Milestone for 80 stars. We got the 75 to 79 overall reward, so we'll go ahead and open that in the sets on video. We'll get up to level 13, where we do acquire two get a player pack so we're gonna go ahead and open up both of these packs can we pull a gold no we start off with a silver um i'm assuming these are series one packs because we have not pulled a single gold out of these packs and series two packs um series two 62 plus silver packs you pull much better stuff as we got our another nat 70 overall fantasy pack we are gonna go with um what does abraham campbell look like oh we can't see um interesting um i might go with cleveland barrel i i want to see their stats but i can't i don't want julian love because we're fine on corners these guys won't be on the team for super long so i'm probably just gonna go with the free safety ibrahim campbell i kind of want to see what his speed and his zone are looking like just to see what he's gonna do out there 81 speed 70 hit power 62 zone isn't too bad so he's not a bad starting free safety for now on the team he'll be decent enough out there he'll go ahead and stick to our free safety spot but i believe we have a few more rewards we'll have the level 14 rewards and earn 100 stars and challenges we go ahead and earn a mutt collectible and we get the rivals milestone for 110 stars which is the 8082 so i believe we're able to get our free 85 overall player now Looks like we don't have to complete the Rivals challenges to get it. I didn't think. I thought you had to complete it. And we also get an overall increase and a get a gold player. A bunch of stuff coming in right now. What can we get out of here? Maurice Canada. Um, not too good. But um, we get 22k right there as you guys can see. And I believe we're going to be able to take our free 85 overall player. I obviously still need to complete this because of um, I want the completion token. So we can go ahead and earn whatever that do is when it does come out um in series seven i believe is when it is gonna come out but we have and a one open pack i believe this is the get a player yeah i got i forgot to open up and get a player so we'll open this we'll go into sets we'll earn what we got there and as you see we get a silver logan woodside not too good wish we could pull a trace mcsorley out of these packs because if you guys do not know trace mcsorley is going for a lot right now on my other account when i was opening all those get a player packs i pulled three of them and i probably sold the, the three combined for about 100k absolutely insane that people are actually buying that man for that much um if you guys don't know why trace mcsorley is, po trace McSorley is popular just go to tiktok and look up trace mcsorley he is uh, doing pretty well over there but um we'll go ahead and go into these sets and we'll check out the rival sets throw in our exchange players will be able to pick up an 85 overall player and we'll be getting a free 75 to 79 and 80 to 82 so those are going to be pretty nice what do we get out of here we get a 75 reuben foster um he's got a 79 speed 81 excel 78 hit power i guess he's not too bad he'll sit in the middle for us temporarily um so definitely not too bad right there but um we get our token exchange for the 75 to 79 right there and another one right there but we got the 80 to 82 left and then we're gonna be able to earn ourselves a rivals master looking real good what are we gonna get out of this 80 to 82 overall elite nap player pack we get a 82 dak prescott that's not that bad 
that's not that bad at all. I might honestly, I'll look into starting him at quarterback over Lamar, depending on um, their stats. Uh, I'll have to do, we'll, we'll do a little bit of a comparison, I guess, after this, um, as we get our final Rivals Master Exchange token. We're going to go ahead and add all five of these to the set to go ahead and earn ourselves a Rivals Master Fantasy Pack, giving us a free 85 overall player out of these three. I feel like it's pretty obvious who we're going to go with here. Um, Jalen Smith, insane user card. Going to look really well next to Sam Mills on the team. Now, I know we did just get Ruben Foster, but honestly, I've been thinking about running a 4-3 scheme on this um, team, so I wouldn't be super mad to go ahead and toss either Ruben Foster or Sam Mills to outside linebacker, or we could exchange um, Ruben Foster for a better card. But other than that, we completed all these sets. We earned ourselves a free 85 overall Jalen Smith already, and it's been at most an hour and a half on this account. But one thing I want to do is I do want to compare Dak Prescott to Lamar Jackson. So, um, Dak Prescott, he's got 75 speed, 82 throw power, 82 throw power 83 short, 78 mid, 78 deep, 79 under pressure, 80 on the run, 80 play action. Uh, he looks pretty dang good after the line of scrimmage. Just looks like a decent quarterly card. Doesn't look too bad at all. Uh, decent ball carrier, vision, ball carrier vision and carrying. And then Lamar Jackson, if his speed isn't significantly better, 84 speed. Doesn't really have the throw accuracies. I think I like this Dak Prescott a little bit more, honestly. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to promote this Dak Prescott to our starting quarterback spot, giving us an 82 overall quarterback on the first day along with Aeneas Williams, Jalen Smith and a bunch of other stuff. We did get a upgrade token for Sam Mills as well. So we're going to go ahead and use that right here. Um, looking real good. Get him up to a 76 overall trying to get him up as fast as we can. And then I believe we also got an upgrade for Andre Johnson, but I don't think we can put it in yet because I believe we need to complete the level challenges to go ahead and get him up. Uh, yeah, we need to complete the level challenges to go ahead and get Andre Johnson up. So I'm definitely going to get to those. But um, yeah, we have a bunch of players on the team. So it doesn't look like um, we haven't sold Maurice Candy yet, who's probably going to go into exchanges because he doesn't look to have much value. Uh, one set that I found that is probably the best to do is this 76 to 78 overall um, player exchange. You get um, the chance of pulling a 78 overall, um, which I'm going to call it, superstar MVP player. As this Brandon Allen uh, didn't really seem to go down, but I don't really want to. Brandon Allen, I said Brandon Parker. I really don't want to sell him, so we're just going to go ahead and throw him into the exchange set as well. But um, other than that, all these players team is definitely coming along um like i said we're probably gonna do something with reuben foster i'm not exactly sure what i want to do with him yet just because i don't think he fits on this team but he's only a gold so it really doesn't matter but the team is looking real good uh for only spending an hour on the game it's not looking real good otherwise than that you wouldn't think this is a very good team but having these this dak prescott having the justin jefferson having the jalen smith the Aeneas williams the patrick peterson it's all coming along we're building up the team slowly. Let me sub out Sam Mills for Reuben Foster real quick, just because that is what I'm going to do. I could keep Reuben Foster in there temporarily for now. But yeah, guys, I think that is going to be the video. Um, I will have in the next video me probably finishing Rivals. This video was a lot longer than I would expect it to be. I don't know why this video ended up being so long. But, um, yeah, guys, that was the video. We picked up the brand, not the brand new, the 85 overall Jalen Smith Rivals player. And next episode, I probably will be doing the Geno Atkins and finishing this Rivals as well, seeing what kind of rewards we get for that. But, yeah, guys, that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe with notice on. But, yeah, I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.